What are your numbers? 2020, 18 so million. Sales or cost of production? No, I don't understand. Things I cannot stand, I'm sorry. A CEO that doesn't understand their numbers and thinks it's okay to say, I'm sorry, I'm not an accountant. Particularly dislike seeing women who don't understand their numbers because you embarrass all of us. The worst thing, I mean, <laughs> seriously, these lions can sweep you off your feet if you come into that den unprepared. <laughs> so guys, welcome to the season two of the lion's den this is the very first episode in the lion's den season two and i'm super excited i'm going to be telling you all that went down in the den and how this five lions pounced on three entrepreneurs that got into the den if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping by my name is julie j welcome to another video another um updates another gist about the reality show called the lion's den if you are a business owner entrepreneur entrepreneur you were looking for investors you like to know a reality show that helps people understand how to get ready get prepared get pitch their business get investors into their business and dirt lions then is definitely that um reality show you should be following if you're not following please do follow turn um just hit on the subscribe button right now to be a part of this community don't miss any of my updates um videos make sure you actually follow this trend of conversation because this is a business reality show that would open your eyes turn on the post notification guys let's talk about the episode one so guys 170 million naira deal went down in the very first episode i don't know about the lions den team i think they're always kind of hypers they give us the momentum for the show every single season when we see them bring these deals like help just showcase these deals at the very first season i mean i remember the very first episode in episode one we actually saw over 160 million and this is like 170 million so i'm like okay you guys you're giving up big time so two entrepreneurs were lucky in the den i'm going to be talking about that in this video now there has been some switch there have been there's been some change in the i think how the entrepreneurs are entering. i don't know if it's a new trend or this is how it's going to be but i know three entrepreneurs came into the den i kind of started watching the show late i missed the first um one so this was the repeat i had to watch that was um and then of course what i saw were three entrepreneurs i don't know if you saw four but we all know that in all of the episodes we get to see four entrepreneurs but this time we saw three entrepreneurs so the first entrepreneur who came into the den was an nft guy that uh, an artist um an artist who is investing also the non-fungible tokens is an nft um is a, is a new portfolio business in portfolio making money portfolio for a lot of artists photographers and people who draw you know different kind of artists you know get into the nft world and are cashing in so this guy came into the den looking for 30 million naira and he wanted to offer something less but you guys know the lions they love to start their deals with 50 percent <laughs> so we actually saw this guy like making frantic calls um you know and the frantic call was out of the five lions four lions opted out of his business because he did not get the vision of what he was doing but kiara kind of you know knows that nfts is trending he's probably going to make his money back and then he was like okay you know what out of all the lions even if they're not investing i'm ready to invest in your business but if you want me to give you 30 million i want 50 percent of your business so this guy literally when he got that offer you know he had to think about it because if you if you if you want to know how it happens i i have different videos telling you about the rules of engagement so if you want to know that i have videos showing that you can just watch that video to know what the rules of engagement is all about because i'm just going to continue from it i have and um, you can follow up that conversation so basically when you, you you share what you want to get you get an offer and then you either accept or you reject it so when this guy was still thinking about the 50 because i'm very sure the 50 percent was buzzing in his head you know we had the motherly advice come from adenike say you know what if you have somebody to call call that person right now to help you make a decision and then this guy went outside made a call and um, probably made a call to see if he could get an idea of a counter offer he came back and he was like you know what i cannot do 50 percent. 50 percent is too much um can you guys go for 20 percent but one of the things i'll tell you i didn't like about this entrepreneur was his was his gesture his body language was like a turn off for me i'm like if kiari was not interested in this deal he would have just called that he would have used that particular you know negative vibe body language to say you know what i'm not even interested go with your 50 percent i'm not interested in investing so i think as an entrepreneur it's very very important that you like really watch your body language because it can tell it can piece people off it can kind of turn off that vibe from people so we literally saw 
Kiari, you know, pitch for 50% and he came with a return offer. And his return offer was 20%. And then I think, you know, there's something about this language. They are very, very, very smart. They can read body languages a lot. So I think Kiari was one of that person that could read this guy's body language because he was like, <laughs> if you don't take it, I'm leaving it. And so Kiari was like, you know what? Um, I already gave you the offer that I'm ready to come down at 10%. So what the offer is going to be is if you're going to repay me, I'm going to, I'm willing to do 40%. I'm going down to 40%. But um, that will be if you repay me, if you repay me my money, I'm going to go down, drop down 20%. So th that's going to be, you're going to get your 20% after you've paid me for three years. Because the guy said, um, the entrepreneur said he will, he will be able to pay back the 30 million naira loan that we granted to him in three years' time. So the businesses are always very, very fresh and cool. It's just that before you come into the den, you really need to understand how these dynamics work. If not, they'll throw your balance. So that deal was a, a done deal. The next entrepreneur who came in was a bread, was a Ketra, let me just call her a Ketra, was a baker, um, Rhoda. She was looking for 20 million um, for a 20% um, in her business. And hey, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> we saw the, the we saw like I, I really I think I like this um, Mrs. Audrey I like her vibe I like the fact that she is a very calm person and she likes to be very factual so she threw the, the question I'm um, sorry I'm gonna be using my notes because it kind of helps me <laughs> not make a mistake when I'm talking about the questions he asked so Mrs. Audrey you know um, who was the first person no it was uh, Kiari um, Kiari Booker that asked Rhoda the first question that threw her off balance what are your numbers? Now, guys, if you know the lion's den, you know that when you're coming into the den, you need to know your numbers. This is the cocoa. <laughs> if you want to get um, ideas of what to expect from the lion's den, I also have a video talking about that. You probably want to watch that video because that gives you an idea of what this lion's get to ask about. So they asked her, what's your numbers? And guys, that's where the fumbling started. So according to Rhoda, I'm going to mention, I'm just going to state it the way she said it. She said her business, she has um, a bread business. She, I mean, it looked really nice and cool. So according to Rhoda, she said in 2020, she made, um, she started the business 400K. And that in 2020, she made 8.5 million. And in 2021, she made 9.8 million. And then they asked her, so what is your, and then Audrey, you know, it, was, it looked very impressive when Kiari asked that question. But Audrey was not getting it. Mrs. Audrey was not getting it like that. She was like, I want to really get what was your gross profit or was your net profit? And when that question came was when it, was when the Wahala came. So they were like, okay, the 8.5 and the 9.8, you know, what was that? And then she said that was just my profits. Now, guys, if you don't know, as an entrepreneur, there are two types of profit you can have in your business. I think even more than two types, <laughs> but we're going to get to that. Now, so then now, Mrs. from Mrs. Audrey's question, she was like, okay, so what was now your revenue and then she mentioned that okay i made 18 million in 2020 and i made 20 million in 2021 and then they were like okay what is your gross profit what is your net profit and you know she kept on i mean what the question when audrey asked us are they your net profit or your gross margin that was the exact question audrey asked and she said well um the gross profit is 40 percent and they already asked that the net profit said net profit is 50%. Guys, if you're an entrepreneur, you have a business, you don't know what gross profit is, you don't know what net profit is, <laughs> you're in trouble. Because there's no way, no way, gross profit margin will be higher than net profit. It's not even possible. The gross profit is like your first profit, guys, and then your net profit is your last profit. So definitely your net profit is supposed to be lower than your gross profit. I mean, guys, go and do your research. I'm not here to educate you what net profit or gross profit means. But when she said that, that was when I knew that, oh, this one doesn't even know her numbers. And then, you know, it was quite embarrassing to hear Mrs. Audrey say, I get embarrassed. You're embarrassing all the women in business when you come out here and feel it's cool to say I'm not an accountant. You know, ah, it was really hot though. I mean, Mrs. Audrey got it hot through that. You know, at the end of the day, I think the only reason why Rhoda did not get any investment, um, really. I'm, I'm the only person that didn't get an investment in the Lion's Den episode one was actually Rhoda. She had a perfect business, her business was making a lot of crazy, crazy margin. Um, but I'm not sure those margins were really correct because it looks very exaggerated if you ask me. I feel like she was not making enough because she did not understand her business, so she was just exaggerating. Then, um, when Bolaji asked her if you get this 20 million, you're asking for in fact, the question Bolaji asked her was. Since you're making so much money, why do you need this money? Why don't you just go and meet a bank? <laughs> and 
they work with you why do you need a lion investor in your business because you're already making a lot of money and this is one of the things i think an entrepreneur needs to understand that it's not about coming to say you're making hyper like that's that might even discourage i mean i mean it looks good when you have a good business and you have high margins right but you need to understand what you're doing in business i mean these lions even if you have your high profit margins or whatever you, you cannot <laughs> sweet talk them into investing your business because they know what they're actually looking for so guys anyways this was everything that literally went down in the lion's den um episode season two episode one i'll see you guys in my next video for now thank you so much for your watch time catch you guys in the next one <laughs>